Welcome to another episode. New episode, and we're doing again local spots around all well, the hometown, I guess, in yeah. Queensland. So it's like trip down memory lane for us, really. Oh, definitely, <laughs> yeah. Like this is probably one that's really close to us, and we've been coming to this place for a very, very long time, way before we started Big Oz and before we left. Uh, it's Bribey Island. Mm. So pretty excited to show you, but from what I've seen and what I've heard and what I've read so far, it's very, very different to what, to what it we used remember. to be. Which mm. is a bit of a shame. So it means that we can't show you the whole island, uh, which is a bit of a shame because there was so much you can go and do. You can do a whole big loop around this place, which is really cool. But it doesn't look like we can do that anymore. But we're still going to try and make the most of it, show you what we can, um, and yeah go from there I guess. So pretty much we've come from home this morning. It's about an hour drive from where we are just south of Brisbane. We've been to Woolies and BWS who grabbed ourselves some food, yep. some drinks. Um, I actually went past the butcher there as well so I've got us some real sausages Ooh. today which is exciting. Yes. Um, and then we were going to stop at a place called Wurrim which is like a little town on Bribey Island which is normally where you get your pass so you can actually drive on the yeah. beach. So Queensland National Parks not only do you need a camping permit if you're coming here to camp but you also need a driving permit to use this right. recreational area and they've got cameras that actually look at your registration too so you can't not do it um, yeah, they put them in probably about whoa, three years ago yeah when we Just left before we left yeah. they put them in and it was big talks about it because there were so many people coming up here and running the gauntlet yeah um, because you Technically, you could come up here and try your luck. So but Chris did it once. <laughs> it's a two hundred and fifteen dollar fine, just yeah, so you know. <laughs> I know, I know all about it because I've been there and I've done it. Yeah, I was that guy way back in the day. Yeah. So we'll take you for a ride. We'll show you a few bits and pieces. Um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty laid back, pretty chilled sort of episode, but uh, looking forward to it. We might show you when we get out to the beach entrance uh, what that looks like as well, so you know what you're in for. Yeah. Make sure if you do come here as well, put your tyres down. You need to have them down. You're going to get stuck because this first bit of track is kind of like inland soft sand, and if you're not ready for it, you don't want to be that guy. But not only that, it's that, that entry into the beach. Like, it's quite bumpy. It's, yeah. It's rutted out. I don't know what it's like after nearly three years. Maybe but it's I'm, perfect now. I'm assuming it's probably worse, if yeah. not the same. So, just for that side of things. But then, obviously, going to the beach, yeah, just air down. We're down at 20 at the moment, just because I can. Can you um, hear that compressor? <laughs> yeah. I got mine down at 20, just to make sure. If we get into a pickle, we're always going to get out. Um, there is a lot of people here. Like it yeah, is it's absolutely. Yeah, it's a Sunday and it's super busy. busy. <laughs> it's so busy. There's so many cars coming off. Yeah. Like, and it's only about 11:30, I think, yeah. at the moment. So, yeah. Come on, let's go check anyway, it out. Let's go. All right, so I'm just on the website. This is where you go. You can make an account, and then you can pay for your passes. So, we used to do this when we were at um, the news agent. You just pop in there and you get your pass, and then they would give it to you. But now you get it from the map area and you fill it in yourself. So that's really different. Um, but yeah, I'll just check. So park name, we've got Bribey. I feel like anybody that's come to Bribey and knew the news agency, they're probably thinking, God, you guys are, haven't been here for a long time. <laughs> yeah, probably. So like nearly three years now. It's probably been going for so long. I've only got like two bars 3G here. It's really frustrating. So it's probably a hot tip right now. Maybe do it before you get here. <laughs> yeah, there's all these people like trying to do it and it's only bringing up camping. Bloody hell. Like seriously, look at the, look at the cars. It is flat out. There's more behind me airing down. It is busy. I guess it's Sunday and the weather is amazing. You gotta expect it. I wonder if we're gonna actually be able to find a park. Maybe. Here we go, so we're going Bribey Island vehicle access permit. Um, we're going for one week. So a week is 53.65 or annual is 167.60. So we obviously used to do annual, um, but this time we're gonna pay $53 to go on for half a day. How exciting. <laughs> Rego. Yeah, it's definitely uh, more bang for your buck if you come up more than, I think, two or three times. As of today, web booking, so 53.65, just keep that in mind. Tells you obviously your confirmation number, the date purchased and time, so I'm just going to print screen that. Because I can't remember if there's service out here. I've got one bar 5G now and I only had 3G before, so I don't want to risk being out there and being like, ah, oh, I got one, I swear. No. <laughs> So yeah, we're good. We don't want another $215 fine. Hey, babe. Dad. No. Oh, here it comes. Dad? I wonder how hectic it is now, babe. Well, if it's anything like it used to be, I want to put in some old footage of when we came through here in the Ranger and Jack was only a baby and he was like literally like this in the seat. Like the whole seat was left to right. <laughs> we came here when I was pregnant too and I used to hold on for dear life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
quite funny. Jack oh, here we go. Hopefully, old mate in front of you doesn't get too slow, otherwise, you end up overtaking people, eh? Pretty much. Should be pretty good. We're not the Ranger anymore. <laughs> True. <laughs> Nothing against Rangers, just we're in a far more capable car these oh, days. <laughs> what are we doing, Jack? We do bump bumps. Bump bumps. Bumping around. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, just bouncy, <laughs> eh? <laughs> so that is the cameras that check you on the way out. Chris is just five, what is it called? Five rocking it. Like Big Sandy. Big Sandy, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's the cameras that check your radio on the way through. So we paid only like 30 seconds ago, but we did pay before we went through that. They're pumping it. There's People hooning. There's always one. Bloody hoons. There's plenty of them up yeah. so many cars. Oh, here come the Humpty Doos anyway. So we'll yeah. bounce around a bit now. <laughs> Just gonna get a bit, how you going? Very close. So you can still come to this bit. And that's about so you right. can get to the toilets basically. Yeah. If you need the toilet. Oh, there you go. Does Speak anyone tonight. need the toilet while we're here? Yes. It's no surprise there. Of course, Jada needs the toilet. Well, I do. <laughs> I do. Hey! Small things make a big difference. Level bench. She's level and it's nice and low too for this little short ass. Babe, I can see in the fridge. Oh, that's always nice. I'm like looking in it. Oh, we're gonna come out a bit further. There you go. Hey, look at that. You can actually oh. see right into there. What normally would you you're, like? Normally you're on your tippy toes. This is great. It is great. We've got the uh, essentials out. Jack's got his toys. Ready, can I dig a big Perfect hole? place for it. He's got his big digger and his, dough, his uh, dump truck. Should keep the uh, kids <laughs> occupied for a bit. She is very, very windy. Big reason why we parked the car the way we have. Um, it's fond memories, because we used to have a lot of this when we came up here. It was like a very hit and miss on the days and the weather and whatnot. But, um, geez, what else do you do? You drive, what, nearly an hour and a half from Brisbane or an hour from Brisbane to Come up here and spin the day on the beach. Might as well make the most of it. It's not too bad. At least there's a bit of sun out about. Could be a lot worse. So yeah, we'll make the most of this one. Ooh. We haven't had these in so long. I reckon Jack's gonna be excited. Yeah, yeah. you'll smash hey, Jack. those. Look. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, are you excited? Do you want some? Yes. You haven't had strawberries for ages. Big one. Whoa, look at the size of them! Whoa. I like the red ones. That's crazy! What do you say, guys? Thank you. Thank you. Is it nice? Yeah. Oh, long time. Oh, smashing into one. No. 
It's amazing how much you can fit in your mouth. <laughs> a big old strawberry. A big old strawberry. Alright, I got a job. Because other people don't know how to clean up. Can you see if you can find anything and put it in this bin bag? Yes. That one was half buried, like someone put it in the ground and kicked sand over it. Oh, you just want to eat of that? You eat so, it. Uh, you put the rubbish in here, yep. Uh, good boy. Can you find any more? And then you can have the strawberries. That's that's just one thing that really shits me. I think a lot of people know that, but it's it's silly things like that. Literally pulled up and I can see this little yellow. How hard is it? little yellow piece like just glimmering in the sun and I just kicked it. It's a whole can. Like literally someone's just made a little divot in the sand and thrown it in. Why? I don't, I don't understand it. If you can bring it here, you can take it back with you. Do the uh, right thing. Anyway, clean up. Cool. Keep the, keep what you have Thank nice. You. Bloody sun eats. Okay. All right, strawberry. Thank you. So Jonah has this thing about every time we come to any beach, any lagoon, anywhere where there's water. It could be the middle of bloody winter. And she, she has still, to go in. She still thinks, I'm gonna go swimming. She'll come back now and she'll be like, oh yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it's, it's good. I guarantee you, if she put on her swimmers and went out there, she wouldn't even get in the water. No. Typical. But she'll prove a point. She's good at that. And then she'll get sick for a week. She'll say, oh, it wasn't that bad. Here we go. Yeah. I'll put 10 bucks on it. Oh yeah, it's nice. How's the water? It's not bad. It's not bad. Well, good enough to swim. Wow. What's that? I can't hear. It's okay. It's okay. Would you swim in it? Okay. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Second guess this already. Oh, I don't miss this no caravan life right now. I, d I feel like, where's the swag? I honestly could be back in a bloody Whack. It just takes you right back, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I've just like got out a piece of paper towel, paper plate, I've got my knife ready. I've had to cut up my onions, I've been blown away by the wind. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, it's like straight back, it's funny. Oh. Everyone starts somewhere, don't they? Yeah. It's funny. So we're going basically hot dogs. Sean went to the butcher instead of going to Woolworths, which I absolutely love. These look like primo sausages. So I got those, got a bit of onion, mushrooms, halloumi, and I don't think we've got too much in the way of sauces, but I think we got some garlic dip, so. We got a Mexican sauce and garlic dressing. Well, there you go. That's one thing we did forget. <laughs> but we've been waiting to get this thing out again and start cooking on it. Because this is literally why we got this this setup is for this. Back of the car, on a beach, having lunch, just enjoying the serenity. But if you don't know, these are at Anaconda. It took us about three months to find them because they were so, obviously so popular. We couldn't find them anywhere, but finally got our hands on one. One thing I do like about this is the, the high side. So a lot of them have like a flat grill. But for this one, there's multiple uses for it. So you can do like casseroles, there's like saucy dishes and things like that. But yeah, highly recommend one of these. We're gonna use the absolute hell out of this going forward. So stay tuned, you're gonna see a lot more of it. We've parked the car right. I've got the fridge out on one side and I'm using the other side here, which is four B fit outs. Um, this is gonna come in really handy. So the wind's basically coming straight out the top of the car, but I cannot feel any wind here, which is amazing. There's nothing worse than cooking at the beach and getting a whole bucket full of sand in your bloody food. 
Been there, done that, I'm sure a lot of you have too. I couldn't think of anything worse. So we've got the ultimate little setup, ready to go. Let's rip in, I'm bloody hungry. An entree. Would you like an entree? A Rollo. Don't tell the kids. <laughs> it's probably the best uh, entree I've had for a long time. This is why I'm not a size six. <laughs> <laughs> Secret ingredient right there. You want to see the sausages? Yeah. Yeah? You got dad. Come here, come here, I'll show you. These ones are big ones. Look at this. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? I know I'm excited. Yeah. You hungry? I smell yeah. amazing. You a little bit excited? To eat? Yes. Yes. That I chose all this. This is like, oh yeah, put this in, put that in. This is like Sean's meal right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sausages, onions, mushrooms, the whole lot. Does smell pretty bloody good right now. Halloumi. And halloumi. Can't forget the halloumi. So yum. So good. On the beach. Oh. Can't believe it. My not dog. Huh. No dogs here. <laughs> My tiny fork. At least it's not wooden. Yeah, no one needs to cringe today. today? Yeah. Did you like being at the beach? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time, huh? Mm. Yeah. What about you? Did you enjoy yourself? Mm. Look at him there, just hoeing mm. into the chocolate. I Not should go life. swimming. Yeah, next time, when it's a bit warmer. Righto, lunch is done. We've had a, uh, a nice little session by the water. Yeah, it's having, been good. Like I was talking about earlier with a little cooker and stuff like, and the setup that I've done on the back with the slide and the bench, like that's basically what I've been planning to do for a very, very long time. That's the whole reason I've got that set up in the back. It's finally used it. It's <laughs> finally getting its use for what it was built for, which I'm very happy about. And I'm very happy for the first time. Yeah. In the back there. So it's worked <laughs> out. Very happy for the first time. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really bad. Ever. No? Ever. No, I was pretty stoked with that, so. Uh, just driving back now, we thought we'd pop into one of the lagoons, as you can see behind us. Yeah. It's, uh, they're freshwater lagoons, so they come off the island. Um, and there's, most of them are, probably can't see it right now, but they've got a tinge to them. Yeah. So it's a tannin, tannin, tannin water. in the water. It comes from all the plants on the island and yeah. all the like uh, brown matter basically that goes into the water and it causes it to have that color. Yeah, it's like tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah like tea. Um, but this is normally the sort of place we would have stopped at. We would have gone yeah. to one of these lagoons, but we were probably a bit silly. We came down on a Sunday. We should have come on a weekday. Like a midday Sunday. Like yeah. it's pumping. Absolutely In the middle of pumping. everything. It's, quite, it's very quiet at the moment. Look, there's no one. 
Well, there's one one car here now, but it's what? I don't even know what time it is. It's I think it's about two o'clock now. Yeah. But tides come in in two hours, so you don't want to be right. down here too much longer because you might not be able to get back off the beach. So just to be wary <laughs> on this beach, you need to keep an eye on tides. Um, yeah. There's a few washed up driftwood pieces on the beach now that never yeah, used to be of, there. Yeah, a lot so of timber floating around. And um, the lagoons, I'm pretty sure there's four of them, but these are your best places to stop. So if you're full-time traveling, definitely come Monday to Friday. Come during the week, you'll you'll absolutely love it. It'll be like far less yeah. people, won't be as super crowded. Um, but obviously weekends, anywhere you go is going to be quite busy. Big old yeah. helicopter. Yeah. There he goes. And um, keep in mind as well, you have to pay that 50 odd dollars just to go on to the beach. So this is just for your driving. Yep. On top of that, you got camping fees. So if you are gonna come here and make something of it, maybe try and come for like a few days, you know, so not only you can drive, but you can camp here. Cause they do have camping down on the main beach as well. No, it's not bad some... camping. It's pretty good camping. Yeah. It's quite um, protected. Yeah, it's in behind the dunes and yeah. whatnot. And yeah, we've stayed in a couple of times and it's it's been amazing. It's actually been a really, really good experience. So yeah. if you're down, you don't want to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on ferries to go to islands and you just want to do something for a couple of days. It's always good for that. And that was a big reason why we used to come here all the time is because it was our little, I don't know. A getaway. A getaway. Like and to close a to beach. Brisbane. Yeah. Sorry, we got cut off there. Far out. The battery cut off. It's exhausted. It's exhausted, yeah. But um, um, yeah. yeah, it is a really good day trip out. You can do the whole lap of the island. And at the end, you used to be able to go and see the World War II wrecks as well, but you can't yeah. get to them at the moment. The beach and just the state of the island after some of the floods and that, it's just completely changed, hey? It's changing completely, mm. yeah. It's, it's a bit of a shame again, but it is it is what it is and it's a part of obviously sand islands and whatnot, but... Yeah, it's ever changing. Yeah, it used to be quite cool to go down there to the, the, the bunkers they used to call them. So yeah. I think there's two or three of them you can go right down to the end and check it out. Uh, used to get some famous shots out the front with your car yeah. and all that sort of stuff, but... Ours are with the Ranger, they're not even with this car. No, it's a very long time ago, but yeah, I don't know. It's, I guess it's just, it's like life. Things can move on, things change, so it is what it is. At least we came down, we've checked it out. It's actually been a really yeah. good day, considering the weather. The weather's going to get worse over the next two or three days. So we've done pretty bloody well there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you guys, or any of you, have been to Bribey Island before. And if, mm. uh, if you, is I don't know. Is this your local? Is this your local? Do you enjoy bribery? Do you like bribery? Do you Stay rate tuned. it? If I haven't shown you yet, the old bribery footage is coming now and then we've got bloopers. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha
Jason, I'm so sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny. Body, babe. Thanks. Lighting's better. Still looking my best in my wedding nails. <laughs> it's a bloody big sausage, huh? Look at the size of that. Who doesn't love a good sausage? Well, g'day. We are. No, hang on. It is a squeaky sound. Our bushes are nearly gone. We need new bushes. <laughs>